Good morning guys. In today's video, of course, we're going to talk about the Bitcoin price. But the most important thing is that my daughter Jolie is turning 15 today. We are going to talk about India, why Bitcoin trading is exploding at the moment in India. We are even going to tell you why that an epic, how that this Picasso painting now got sold for crypto as well. And I'm going to share a small part of our history, which is a little bit private, but I thought I need to be honest and I need to share a little bit more about our family. So I'm going to share a beautiful story that happened to me 15 years ago. And I'm going to tell you how you can win at BMW by just doing the thing you are always doing as a crypto lover. And last but not least, we are going to look at the alts. When will this alt season start? Because that's the question that everybody is asking. When will we see the alts flying up? When will the alt season start? All this in this again, beautiful video. I hope you enjoy it. Like I will enjoy the birthday of my oldest daughter, Jolie, today. To the moon and back, darling, I love you. Good morning, guys, on this beautiful cloudy day in Kopangan. Let's take a jump in this office. Whoa. Yes, my own office. I hope you enjoyed the last two days in these beautiful offices I showed you. Yes, a beautiful jungle. Yes, a beautiful beach and a luxury villa. Today, again, my own office here on this amazing day. It's an amazing day because it's my oldest daughter, her birthday. Jolie is turning 15 years old, so she was born 15 years ago already time flies by i'm going to end this video with a beautiful story about what happened when we found out a uh, roman was pregnant of her jolie happy birthday darling i love you to the moon and back and we will make a beautiful day just celebrate it the way you want with a beautiful beach day a nice dinner maybe a massage and all that kind of thing the bitcoin price guys if we are looking at the bitcoin price we are still looking at the bears and the bulls guys the bears are still saying oh we are going to bring bitcoin down to about 7k and if i say 7k you always might wonder why is this 7k so take a look at this chart if you look at this chart guys you see this massive massive triangle from 2017 top till now and from 2017 bottom till now and if you see this triangle you can see we just test this the top of this triangle and the bottom of this triangle um, could be around 7k and then we could make another move up to really break you know um, this downwards trend line bearish trend line that's why the bearish things we will still see 7k before we will go into this tremendous bull run and yes this uh, time frame is a weekly time frame so it's a zoomed out time frame so um, yeah, we can also see in 2016, you know, you see this down, this trend line coming down and we want to break it and we touch the trend line a few times, but then we really bottom out on the support line as well before we really break it. So we all, we, we take it all to the, you know, to the end of the triangle. At the moment, we didn't take it to the end of the triangle. If you look um, to, to the current uh, price, we are, we still have a downwards movement possibility into the triangle and then again up to the triangle then we would reach the end of the triangle in the next couple of weeks months um, so let's see what will happen that is the bears guys the bears think that we will do this and the bears think we will go to 7k and again guys don't freak out but just zoom out because if we go to 7k that would be a very beautiful buying opportunity again and you just dollar cost average your bitcoins by adding some more cheap bitcoins to your beautiful portfolio because even the bears need to admit that we will see a huge bull run again and if we look at the bullish side today guys you can see that this um, very beautiful macro indicator let's call the macro indicator just flipped bullish again and the last time this macro indicator flipped bullish and we saw a run of like 300 percent the other time this macro indicator flipped bullish was just up front of the huge 2017 bull run so this indicator has a flip before and every time we saw a huge run this indicator if you look at the bottom of the chart you can see a small circle and a small orange area this is now the moment this area is becoming orange and flipping bullish 
um, which is also in line with the stock to flow chart that I showed you yesterday um, where we saw this dark blue going into red now and every time we start to see red we will know that there is a bull run coming this macro indicator you see in the bottom of the chart is saying is telling us the same and even if we zoom out and we check the MACD in the weekly chart we can see also in this MACD that this one is in an uptrend on the weekly chart so we that's very positive for a bull run guys because we have a lot of upwards movement uh, possibilities for the MACD and that's why we call it it's a beautiful position to launch you know if the MACD would be in the top um, it's difficult to get higher and then it's difficult to, to get the support for this bull run and um, the MACD is also showing us a very positive bullish sign with other words I am still bullish I still trust these bullish indicators but I don't care if we go to 7 or 8k because I will just add some little bit more Bitcoin but be, to be completely honest that will probably be also the last time I can add these bitcoins because I am running out of stable coins so hmm, you know let's see what will happen um, if I run out of these stable currencies I'm again fully all in into Bitcoin and many other cryptos so that would be I think the perfect timing for a bull run and why do I say other cryptos because other cryptos also matter in this space because a lot of people believe in them and there is also still something they call an alt season and what is an alt season an alt season is a season that all these other cryptos aside of Bitcoin make a huge run up try to overtake Bitcoin or try to come near the Bitcoin growth um, of the last couple of months the question always is when is this alt season starting I will try to give you an answer because I read this beautiful article about alt seasons and this article states that the alt season is closer than ever if it comes to the technical indicators if you take a look at this alt season chart even there you can use these technical indicators you can see this huge triangle again also on the alt season chart the Bitcoin dominance is about 65% at the moment and we even peaked to like 68% I think in the last month but if we might fall below 62% in Bitcoin dominance that is mostly the sign of the start of an alt season and if you look at this chart this chart is expecting that Bitcoin is in this triangle and tried to break the triangle is not uh, breaking it and try and and this chart thinks that the Bitcoin will fall down below 62% and if we fall below the 62% alt season has started and then all these beautiful alts will have a huge run up people will take profit invest again in Bitcoin and that will make Bitcoin go up again that is one of the possibilities guys if you look very close to the chart hmm, it could take like a few weeks still like a month or even two months but alt season is near so uh, not only stack sets but if you want just stack your favorite altcoin as well some other Bitcoin news guys because India Bitcoin trading is booming since the ban on crypto companies was lifted in Bitcoin people started to use Bitcoin again we can see that there was a huge peak in Paxful and local Bitcoins in India and I think it was almost as high as the 2017 peak so like more than three million dollar worth of Bitcoin was traded so that's a lot of Bitcoins to trade in India and um, it not only has to do of course with lifting this ban because you know people will always trade Bitcoin if it's banned or not they will always find a way to trade Bitcoin even if it's banned in their country but I'd probably it also has to do with the huge inflation of the Indian rupee because the Indian rupee is showing us an inflation of like 9.6 percent and that's a lot of inflation guys that means that your money is devaluating with almost 10 percent every year these factors matter if people see inflations of their currencies they will hatch into beautiful stable currencies or into beautiful store of values like gold or Bitcoin so both factors are now driving all these Indian people to start to buy Bitcoin and to trade Bitcoin no more ban inflation of the Indian rupee 
I'm not being paid to do this. I just was an ambassador for this project in a 2017 period when they started as an ICO. It's an exchange, they are called Dcoin. And I just saw Dcoin posting yesterday or the day before that you can now win a BMW Series 1 um, if you just join their uh, exchange and start to trade or refer friends to the exchange or if you start to buy DTAPs. Um, I have been watching this exchange for many years as I was an ambassador for them. I did a lot of chats with um, the CEO Shay. So I know they are a legit exchange. That's why I will mention them in this video because winning in BMW is nice for everybody in these times because let's say you will win this BMW, you can take this and you can drive very fast out of your country, out of lockdown. It's an escape out of your lockdown, this BMW. <laughs> the whole thing uh, will take till the 24th of June and the 25th of June, the winner will be announced on uh, the Decoin platform. So on the 25th of June, we will know who is the winner of um, this beautiful BMW. I have, of course, a link um, down below the video also I will post it in the comments yes the link will be is an affiliate link guys and yes I will make a little commission on um, signing you up there if you even deposit or whatever but this money also guys will be used to support these NGOs and support poor people all over the world I will show an example of this I think in the next week because I want to buy a shitload of food and necessities for the poor people here in Thailand because uh, because of this COVID many people here lost their jobs on the island many people from Burma that are on the island normally work for hotels they don't have work they don't have money they can't buy food so my idea is to buy rice and other stuff that they really need and then just donate it to these people so they don't need to worry about food because I don't think food should be a thing to worry about for anybody in the world because the lackage of food in many places of the world is killing way more people than any virus has killed before. Some other cool news. Yes, guys, there was a Picasso sold for crypto. Picasso? Yeah, you know Picasso, that's a painter. One of these paintings is now sold for crypto. So also the art uh, industry is accepting crypto now. I don't remember the crypto's names. Oh my God, I'm so bad. I should start to write down stuff. So I remember these things, but it's a crypto that is focusing on luxury items. It has been used to buy and sell more luxury items, not only a Picasso, but gold, diamonds, and all kinds of other luxury stuff. This um, crypto is focusing on, on becoming the crypto when it comes to spending your capital to luxury items so that is a crypto that was used to buy a picasso which is of course amazing because now even rich investors that want to buy beautiful paintings or beautiful other luxury things a diamond to make your daughter happy on her birthday they now use crypto to do it i have been doing this for many years buying presents in crypto so for me it's nothing new but maybe it was beautiful news for you because picasso is of course a very famous painter and as promised guys, I will end this episode with this beautiful story about Julie that is turning 15 today. It was 15 years ago, it was on a Friday, I will never forget. We were almost starting our one year trip around the world because that is the thing we planned. We already booked our flights into Thailand and we were starting this one year trip around the world. We bought everything, you know, the preparations, the backpacks, the tools, everything you buy when you make this huge world trip. And then on this Friday evening, my wife or man comes home and she's like, I think I am pregnant. Of course, as a man at that point in life, I saw my whole dream of traveling the world like crashing down like Bitcoin crashed down <laughs> like yeah, after 2017. So my whole world collapsed at that point because I was very selfish. I wanted to do this world trip and all that stuff and I was not ready for children guys uh, i need to be honest to you because i always am honest and then my wife was like why do you react this uh, negative i said yeah yeah it's, it's, i just need to get used to this but i i really don't believe it so let me buy another tester so i went to buy a tester at a pharmacy and she tested it and shit, yes she was pregnant and i said to her maybe this is a wrong tester i will go to another pharmacy tomorrow morning when we wake up and test it again i went to another pharmacy where i bought two different brands of testers and i went back to my wife and said yeah please 
test all these testers now because maybe you know one of this is not a good one and we need to make we need to know very sure um, if you're pregnant uh, I, I was just finding it at that point man I was a very young guy still fully in freedom I, I wasn't shocked because I was giving a kid um, but then she tested and yes she was pregnant and then something snapped in my head and was like wow okay this is really happening and I got excited and I got looking forward to this and everything but I didn't want to give up this dream of traveling so I looked at my wife and I told her I love it and I want to be a dad and I and, and let's make many children after or you start with practicing a lot of time before we make them and um, let's do it and let's go for it and but can we still do this trip please so me, my wife was very open and she was like yeah of course Didi, we can travel till I am like seven months pregnant so let's do it there was in 2004 so we started traveling in 2004 and we, we changed the ticket to New Zealand because she was like, oh, maybe we can do a country that is a little bit more European-like, uh, where there's a little bit more facilities for a pregnant woman. So let's start in New Zealand. So we traveled to New Zealand. She was pregnant about like two months or three months at that time. And we arrived in New Zealand. It was the summer in New Zealand, but it was the worst summer ever. It was rainy, rainy, rainy. After a few weeks of traveling in New Zealand, we told each other, this is not what we want. This is not how we want to spend our last trip together without children. We need some beach, we need some sun. So let's go back to Thailand where we were in 2001 and just take some time off on a beautiful beach and do like relaxing things and all that stuff. So we booked a ticket from New Zealand to Thailand we arrived in Thailand uh, where we went to Bangkok and from Bangkok we took this beautiful bus um, to Krabi. When we arrived in Krabi we were there in the harbor and we were waiting for a boat because we wanted to go to Koh Phi Phi. And Koh Phi Phi was a small island you know in the middle of the sea near Krabi and we wanted to go there because we knew it was a beautiful spot you know where one of the movies uh, at that time was, was very famous of Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, how was it called again? Ah, he starts on Kaosan Road and goes to this uh, island. Ah, maybe you know it. If you know it, comment below. And that is where we wanted to spend some time. And then these people started running at us and they were like, no, you cannot go there. The island is closed. Big waves, big waves, big waves. And we were like, yeah, this is a Thai way of trying to get us to another island where your family owns a hotel or something. But that is not what we want to do. We want to go to Koh Phi So we took an ice cream and we just waited there in the harbor um, you know for the next boat to come because we missed the first boat because the bus made a detour After all we were very happy to miss this first boat because what happened we got struck by a tsunami We were there. Romain was pregnant of Jolie. We were sitting in the harbor these huge waves They were coming they uh, destroyed the Koh Phi Islands. They killed a lot of people We heard helicopters coming over. We saw ambulances driving by people were taken out of the sea and out of the boats all in these ambulances and brought to hospitals and we were stuck in the middle of it um, Thailand reacted very fast so they took us in buses from Krabi and they brought us to the other side of Thailand here to Koh Samui where we could continue our holiday because there were no tsunami here now again 15 years later 15 years after Roman was pregnant there, there during this tsunami we are again in Thailand on Koh Samui in Koh Phangan, celebrating Jolie's 15th birthday today. I think there was a small angel on our shoulders which made sure that, we, that the bus had a small detour. Probably it was my mother that was in heaven at that time already and that made sure that we were safe. Um, yes, we had some adventures, even the tsunami and many other things. Um, crossed our paths um, but that makes life a very ad big adventure this was the story of Jolie I love her to the moon and back I am so happy 15 years ago that all these testers were positive and that Jolie was born nine months later um, I'm going to leave it to this guys that I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and uh, even hit this bell button she will be notified on every new video I make thanks for watching enjoy your day to the fullest zoom out in crypto guys zoom in in life and try to enjoy life to the fullest every single minute of the day because that is what makes life worth living thank you and see you tomorrow again bye